Straight after the information of Rebat's nomination to a cardinal, he paid an official visit to the Prime Minister, where the invitation for Pope Francis to visit Papua New Guinea was delivered. And after the public consistory, Rebat is now a cardinal, Papua New Guinea's first ever. Although not present yesterday at the cardinal's first public appearance, the Prime Minister ended today's media conference with his congratulatory message to His Eminence Sir John Ribat. Uh, let me take this opportunity before I go to congratulate our first uh, Cardinal, who is, uh, now we're all very proud of him, well, well deserved. Uh, recently he was knighted by our government for his services to the country, uh, particularly to the church. Mr. O'Neill commended Cardinal Ribat for his outstanding leadership, not only in the Catholic Church, but also other mainline churches. He said Cardinal Ribat has been an instrument of ecumenism, uniting churches. This great and historic news has strengthened the government to continue work alongside churches to deliver services. His leadership in uniting all the different church organizations in the country is commendable. And uh, we look forward to working with him and, uh, and, uh, and the leadership that he will provide not only to the Catholic Church but to uh, the Christian community in the country. So uh, we congratulate uh, him for uh, uh, this unique and milestone achievement uh, for our country. Also congratulating the new Cardinal were Catholic faithfuls from Papua New Guinea. Very interesting, wonderful and historical event for the Catholic Church here in Papua New Guinea, especially in the Archdiocese of Port Moresby. His Eminence Cardinal Sir John Ribat said to make an official visit to the Prime Minister soon. Fabian Hacklitz, National MTV News.